Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Hi I'm Lisa Dixon from Divorce TV. One of the questions that I am frequently asked is a serious one. What happens if the children are not returned? Now, this has happened to me, unfortunately. It was a long public weekend, public holiday weekend. They were due back at five o'clock on the Saturday and they never came home. Now, one of the first things you have to do, obviously, is check what your consent orders are or your court orders are. What do they say? What's the return time? What are the conditions? And of course, seek legal advice too. Now, what I did was I went to the police station. We didn't have any consent orders in place at the time. It was all via uh, mutual agreement at the time, but we were going through court and we were working out the orders. We did have some temporary agreed orders, but they weren't signed off by the court. So that is important to realize as well. The police were fantastic in this case. They were really, really good. But if, it's a really tricky time. It's a really difficult time. And of course, when the children are involved, all of a sudden it becomes a tug of war. It becomes tugging them from one house to the other. Who said what? Who did what? And that's where if you've listened to my videos about divorce journaling, you will know how important it is to keep track of everything, to write it all down keep notes, keep a diary of every single thing. Now in that case I spent the night at the police station waiting for them to be returned and everything was recorded by the police officers and the constables and the sergeant which was fantastic and then we could go straight into court and have it all sorted once and for all because if it's, if it's a loosey-goosey arrangement this is where things can fall apart. And I do know of a lady who came to see me after 10 years they had had a loosey-goosey agreement which was working absolutely fine. But at the end of the 10 years, her partner, ex-partner wanted to get remarried and that's when the whole thing fell apart and it hadn't been signed off by the court. So all of these things are things that you will need legal advice on. But I wanted to share that with you because I do get asked that time and time again. Take care, I'm Lisa Dixon from Divorce TV. Bye.